Hey, good evening everyone. So I'm going to be doing a quick video on uh, measuring the tracking force on your turntable cartridge. Uh, this is just to help you accurately, uh, you know, obviously measure the weight of the, you know, the, how much, how many grams um, of weight the turntable is uh, putting on your records when you're playing them. And also to um, give you an idea of uh, how you can customize on certain turntables uh, the weight versus others. Uh, for instance, I have two. I've got this Sony uh, PSLX295 that came with the recent stereo I purchased. It's a very basic turntable. Um, it has, I can do 45s and 33s. I can, um, you know, lift the tone arm up and down. Uh, the cartridge is one of the um, less expensive cartridges. Um, it's not as cheap as the like Crosley flares, but it's kind of like one level up from that. Uh, it's decent, but it's not, you know, audiophile by any means. But uh, one tool you will need to have is one of these, which is a scale. I have this set to grams, so basically when I power this thing on, it's going to go straight to zero. And it should say zero, you see zero grams right there. So as you can see, no, well, they just got mad at me for setting it down really fast. Okay, I could default it right there to zero. So now it's zero. So when I put the turntable needle right on that black dot, it is clocking at about 3.48 grams. So the tracking weight on this particular cartridge and turntable is probably on the higher end. But it's not terrible, but um, it's definitely on the higher end. Let me show you now what my Technics turntable uh, tracking weight is. Okay, so this is my Technics SLD3. As you can see, it's got a bit of glare there. I've got my counterweight at 1.5 grams, so I should be reading very close to that when I do this. And I'm pretty dang close. Look at that. So, this particular turntable. Um, has a much more advanced cartridge than the one on my Sony um, and I can adjust my counterweight so I am getting about half, a little less than half of the tracking force on my LPs from this particular turntable versus my Sony. Now this particular turntable um, is kind of my main turntable, the other ones for my office so I use this one more um, but uh, overall, you're going to get less wear over a long period of time on this cartridge versus the other one. Now, I'm not one that's going to say that the Sony is going to ruin your records, but over a very lengthy period of time, um, you may see more wear on the Sony turntable than this one. Probably not noticeable to most people, but... Um, Overall, I'm not going to be super picky. If the tracking force is running at over five, um, then you know that's one thing. But anything to me under four, under three and a half, that's is acceptable. But um, you know, I'm not going to get in this huge debate about that. I, I feel like that uh, both turntables are tracking at an acceptable rate. I like it on this lower end, just for the sake of I know that this is a getting a low tracking force, but. Um, Overall, I'm not going to say that the Sony is ruining my record. So um, this is just a good way for you to test um, and just make sure that you're getting an accurate reading on your counterweight. Make sure you're close, one. And two, um, you know, if you're worried about how much tracking force your LPs are getting, uh, this is definitely a little, a good little device to get. I think it's about $10 for the one I paid. And if I can find my order 
I think it was on Amazon. I will post the link of this particular product. If not, I will uh, just put something on there that's similar to this. But um, that's how you do the counterweight um, and tracking force measurement. And uh, appreciate y'all watching.